Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue discussing our series on bleeding and coagulation disorder. In the previous video, we talked about thrombocytopenia or low platelet count. Today, let's have a thrombocytopenia evaluation algorithm and let's get started. As you know, we start with a pluripotent stem cell, then we have the myeloid, megakaryoblast, megakaryocyte, and then platelets. What stimulates platelet production is the famous TPO, thrombopoietin. And here are my previous video in this, in this series, so make sure to subscribe and save this playlist. The normal platelet count is between 150 to 400,000. And less than that, thrombocytopenia, more than that, thrombocytosis. But clinically speaking, we don't care about thrombocytopenia unless it's less than 50,000. We don't care about thrombocytosis unless more than 750,000. In the previous video, we talked about thrombocytopenia. It had two types, pseudothrombocytopenia, the fake, the artifact, because we depend on the stupid analyzer, and the true thrombocytopenia due to underproduction, overdestruction, or splenic sequestration. And this was the summary of the previous video, thrombocytopenia is decreased platelet count, theoretically less than 150k, but bleeding time start to increase when it's less than 90k, less than 50k, clinical picture signs and symptoms, less than 30k, spontaneous bruising, less than 20k, severe bleeding, less than 10k, please transfuse platelets prophylactically, fresh platelets of course, less than 5000, extremely severe bleeding and spontaneous hemorrhage, if you wanna do a major invasive surgery, make sure that the platelet count is 50,000 50, or more. I left you with a question. If you have a new asymptomatic patient, totally fine. Order some labs, discovered thrombocytopenia, very low platelet count, what's the next step in management? First of all, keep in mind, if the patient is asymptomatic and the platelet count is very low, please consider pseudothrombocytopenia. This is very important. And you have two options. Repeat the platelet count. If it's normal, then it was pseudo, and we don't care. And you have the textbook option to use the algorithm of thrombocytopenia evaluation, which is the topic of today. Thrombocytopenia evaluation algorithm. When you find thrombocytopenia, the second step is to check the hemoglobin and the white blood cell count. If they are normal, do a peripheral smear. If they are abnormal, which means probably a pancytopenia, let's examine the bone marrow and do a bone marrow biopsy. When you see pancytopenia and you don't know the cause, biopsy the marrow, please. But what if the, plate, the white blood cells and hemoglobin are normal? Do the peripheral smear and you have three options. If you have satellites, the platelets are clumping together like this, this is pseudothrombocytopenia, as we have discussed in the previous video. So, redraw the blood in another tube. Don't use the purple top, use the blue top or the green top to avoid the EDTA, the anticoagulant that causes this platelet clumping. The next thing is to find schistocytes, which are fragmented red blood cells, also known as helmet cells. So, in case of DIC, TTP, HUS, help, we have schistocytes. This is called microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. How about macroangiopathic hemolytic anemia, such as a heart valve, a calcified aortic valve causing schistocytes? Yes, macroangiopathic hemolytic anemia will have schistocytes, this is correct, but it will not have thrombocytopenia. Thrombocytopenia with schistocytes, it's always microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. And here is a cute song, DIC, TTP, HUS, help me. Next, if the red blood cells are normal, platelet are normal or increased in size. So it could be ITP, could be drug-induced thrombocytopenia or infection-induced thrombocytopenia. This was the thrombocytopenia evaluation algorithm. When you find thrombocytopenia, next step is to look at the red blood cells and white blood cells. In the next video, we're getting serious. Serum versus plasma. Is there a difference? Let me know in the comments. My notes are ready for you at Patreon. Go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis, subscribe and hit the bell, follow me on Facebook. Until next time, be safe, stay happy and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis.